hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nelo and you are watching Nelo stitches um today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut a perfect armhole for different sizes okay so i'll be sharing with you three different methods i use in getting my armhole depth and also how you can cover it correctly all right so um if you're new to this channel please hit on the subscribe button below and join the family don't just watch the video and pass by please help the channel grow by subscribing liking and also sharing the video thank you so first of all i'm going to show you standard armhole depth for different bust sizes okay so we have a standard armhole depth which i'm going to be putting on the screen so whatever i'm saying i'll be writing it on the screen so that you follow along so from bust 30 28 to 30 armhole depth is six to six and a half bust 32 to 34 armhole depth is seven to seven point five bust 36 to 38 armhole depth is seven to seven and a half bust 40 to 42 armhole depth is eight or eight and a half bust 44 to 46 armhole depth is eight and eight and a half bust 48 to 50 armhole depth is nine or nine and a half bust 52 to 54 armhole depth is nine and a half to ten okay so that is the standard armhole you can also use that and it will be perfect but i'm going to also show you a different method you can get your armhole depth so first of all before you cut this you need to mark your neck line or neck width so here is just three by three which is the standard you can alter it anytime and then you take your shoulder measurement so the shoulder i'm working with is 15 15 divided by 2 is um 7 0.5 and then I slanted the shoulder by one inch because our shoulders are not straight okay so the shoulder I'm working with is 15 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 as you can see and then I slant my shoulder by one inch all right so then after that the next thing you're, the first method I'm going to show you is your shoulder divided by 2 okay so if you're using your shoulder divided by two as your armhole you just mark exactly the same thing if your shoulder is 16 16 divided by two will give us eight then you use eight but the shoulder i'm working with here is 15 okay so 15 divided by two will give us 7.5 all right 15 divided by 2 7.5 and what you're going to do is to mark that 7.5 down from the shoulder slant like this you mark the 7.5 this is for a fitted dress and if you also want to maybe you're making a shirt and you want it to be a little bit free that means you will need to add 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 to your measurement for ease all right but 7.5 is just perfect for your shoulder depth i'm uh, sorry armhole depth okay your shoulder divided by two you get your armhole depth that is the first method which is also very easy to get okay so after you must have done that uh getting your armhole depth the next and that line is also going to serve as your chest line okay so the next thing you're going to do is to mark the same armhole sorry the same shoulder you marked at the shoulder line you take it there too just to get a straight line okay so you're going to mark the same 7.5 or 8 inches whatever is your shoulder divided by 2 whatever you mark as your shoulder divided by 2 okay so you're going to mark that here there too like this you mark 7.5 here okay just to get a straight line and then you connect your line okay you connect your line and that's and then you also draw a line like this for your chest line so this serves as your chest line and mind you you can still you add Sorry, you're going to take your bust circumference divided by 4 
on that chest line, okay? Then let's move to the second method, which is your bust circumference, okay? Your bust circumference divide by 6 plus 1.5, all right, so bust circumference I'm working with here is 36. Okay, 36 divided by 6 will give us 6. All right, we'll have 6. Then when you add 1.5, you see we have 7.5 as the answer. 36 divided by 6 plus 1.5 will still get 7.5 as the answer. And when you remember the armhole depth chart I showed you earlier, the first standard armhole depth I shared with you from both 36 to 38, you can either use 7 inches or 7.5 as your armhole depth. Okay, so it's still perfect. Whatever you get, that is what you're going to mark here from this shoulder slant that is what you are going to mark okay so dividing your bust by 6 plus 1.5 whatever your answer is that is what you're going to mark on your uh for your armhole depth all right then the third method i'm going to share with you is your armhole circumference divide by two so if you measure your armhole tightly maybe let's say you get 16 as your armhole depth as your armhole circumference 16 divided by 2 will give us 8 right 16 divided by 2 will give us 8 then you mark exactly the 8 but if you measure your armhole loose that means whatever you get you're going to divide it by 2 you minus 1 inches or 1.5 Okay, so 16 divided by 2 will have 8. You mark it here. All right, so this is just an example. All right, it's not that the armhole I'm working with is 16. So I'm just showing you an example. If you mark your armhole tight, if you measure your armhole tight, 16 divided by 2 is 8. You mark the 8. But if it's loose, let's say it's 18. 18 divided by 2 will give us 9. Then you minus 1 inch or 1.5 from the nine inches to get your accurate answer okay either you minus one inch or 1.5 to get your perfect armhole depth all right so that is for the third method taking your armhole circumference divide by two okay measure your armhole circumference divide by two but most times we don't get to measure armhole, we just use the bust. And to be sincere with you, the best method I love using is the bust divided by 6. Okay? Bust circumference divided by 6. You can never go wrong with that. I prefer using that to cut, to get my armhole depth than any other method. So I always use my bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5. To get my armhole depth so that is all for the armhole depth and then the next we are going to be talking about is getting the curve all right so before you mark your curve you're going to take the mark the midpoint of this measurement of the armhole depth so in this case the armhole depth is 7.5 so the midpoint is going to be 3 0.75 yeah 3.75 that is the midpoint for this armhole so i'm going to mark 3.75 here okay so for the front armhole to get your inside um, curve before you curve your front armhole first of all if you're of a small size Maybe if you're of a small size, you mark one inch inward. If you're of size X, you mark one inch inward. All right, so if you're of small size, then maybe from bust 32 to 35, bust 32 to 35 is size small you mark one inch inside all right then for size medium size m 
from bust 35 to 38 from bust 35 to 37 sorry you mark 7 0 0.75 okay you mark 0 0.75 inward that is for size medium 0 0.75 inward then if you are of the large size that is l from bust 38 to 40 you mark 0 0.5 Okay, from bust 38 to 40, you mark 0 0.5. Then if you have the large and, sorry, extra large, mm, from extra large upward, you mark 0 0.25. Maybe you are from bust 40 to 54, you mark 0 0.25, depending on your bust size, all right? So for here is bust 38 i'm using 36 i'm using 0 0.75 here okay so i'm using 0 0.75 there and then i am going to take my bus circumference divided by four which is nine i guess okay so you take your bus circumference divided by four before you curve your armhole and then you can just use your free hand and curve it like this down but i'll be using my pattern master for a clean uh marking okay so you can use armhole curve if you have one you can use french curve there are french curve they sell for 400 naira or 500 or even 350 here in nigeria so you can get that it should be fine okay so you curve the way i am curving from point one to three that is where you curve and then you curve down this way did you see that point one two three you curve your armhole and that is how to get a perfect armhole curve for the front and then for the back you just curve from here downward point one and two okay and you get your back armhole curve all right so just this way from here down you get your armhole curve so we have the armhole for the front and for the back stop using nine inches as your armhole depth for every size like the first place i learned how to sew in a shop she usually use nine inches for the armhole depth for all size and we will end up amending the armhole each time the client came to collect her clothes or to test it okay so it wasn't an enroll in a fashion school i realized we have method and formulas for everything both your boards your armhole every every we have formula for them so this number two is my best method you can never go wrong with this I don't have time to measure armhole so once i have your bust circumference i would just use it to get your armhole depth so if you find this video helpful please like and share this video and if you've not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button below and subscribe turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time i so i upload new video thank you and have a nice day bye